Greetings world, I welcome you to Life Rocks. You think about it, let's talk about it. A friend from Mexico gave me a beautiful, high-quality watch, a global luxury brand that I received with thanks, but also with fear. I knew he was another ordinary man like me uh, uh, to give me such an expensive watch. I sent it back to him with humble thanks. And he assured me that he has several of these watches and that he really wanted me to have this lovely piece. And I wore it unhesitatingly, publicly, enjoyed it. Sometime later, uh, I found that the pin which connected the watch strap to the watch broke. Since I could not wear it, I took it to the exclusive luxury showroom for this brand uh, in our city in Amal and, and uh, the showroom salesman looked at it and said, this is a beautiful watch. He said, I don't have a pin for this particular make and model. Uh, but I will send it to the manufacturer. He said, uh, this is a beautiful, high-end luxury piece. We waited. We waited for the watch to come back, and a few weeks later, in a safe package through a courier, uh, the watch was sent back by the manufacturer with the following words, which said, no work done. Repair not performed. Counterfeit watch. Then my heart sank because I'd been wearing this beautiful watch unknowingly, but authentically, even though it was a fake watch. And I could not bring myself to wear a fake watch again. I didn't want to keep it at home, and I tried to find somebody who would not mind wearing a counterfeit watch, and I found a friend, and I told him it was a counterfeit watch. I gave it to him, and he wears it with great pride. He doesn't fool himself, but he fools a lot of others. I want to address the matter of your peace, because it is possible that you've gotten fake peace, and you're faking your peace. Usually when a person goes to buy a counterfeit watch intentionally, they know it's a counterfeit watch, even though it's a high-grade counterfeit. They wear it knowing it's a high-grade counterfeit, but they, inside the heart they know it is a counterfeit. They love making others think that they're wearing the original. Maybe you're like that. Uh, you're faking your peace. You're faking your peace by your activities. Uh, your greed-filled activities so that you try to find peace here and there, a little bit piece by piece, and eventually it goes to pieces. Uh, you fake your peace by your feelings. You follow your heart because somebody said follow your heart. The authenticity is in your feelings. You know what? The store manager, he thought he was an authority on this watch. He thought it was right. He was my authority about the watch. We both felt it was right. <laughs> the people felt it was right. It was genuine, it was true. Oh, some of you fake your peace by following uh, your conduct. You do whatever you want. Uh, you pursue alcohol and drug and sex and, and your choices seem to be uh, good for you because you're free to make the choices, but you're not free to escape the consequences of your choices. And then if you're belonging to other people, they also face the same consequences of your choices. That's fake peace just because you followed your choices in your conduct. Oh, other people attempt to find f fake peace in relationships. Relationships do give a measure of peace, especially loving relationships. But the person with whom you are finding peace, you need to remember, is also attempting to find peace in you when you don't have peace. And that's why trying to make a human uh, the source of your peace 
will be a problem unless he happens to be God who became human. Uh, other people try to find peace in terms of their thinking, in their philosophies. The mindfulness movement is so popular all over the world right now. Who's against mindfulness? But I hope you're setting your mind on the right things. If you're setting your mind on the wrong things, your mindfulness can give you a pause, but cannot give you direction. Uh, your peace will go to pieces because it's a fake peace. Oh, I can go on and on about how we try to find peace in the wrong way, to find peace in the wrong way, in the wrong sources, the wrong places. But you know deep inside your heart it's not genuine. It is not the original. The one source is the manufacturer. He returns every one of your attempts, activities, choices, relationships, thinking, your feelings, and says, undone, repair, nothing done, counterfeit peace. Look to me, I am the prince of peace. All over the world, that's the title they give to the Lord Jesus, the prince of peace. Everybody knows he is the Prince of Peace, meaning he can define peace, he can establish peace, he can distribute peace. And as the manufacturer of peace sends you a new watch. Just imagine if my watch arrived not only with the fake saying counterfeit, but also an original saying no cost. This is for you. Because you really wanted to wear a watch, this is for you. That did not happen, it'll probably never happen, because the luxury watch company will go out of business. But when it comes to peace, the manufacturer of peace returns your peace and says, counterfeit. And then he says, I want to give you original peace, genuine peace, and I've already paid the price of your peace. And here it is, for just the receiving and using. And the Lord Jesus said, my peace I give to you. As the Prince of Peace, he's the manufacturer. And he gives it to you and says, will you take it? You want the manufacturer's peace? Or you want your own fake peace? This is permanent, the other is temporary. This is eternal. That might be earthly. This is deep. That is shallow. This is authentic and true and original. That is false and fake and counterfeit. The manufacturer gives you his peace. Will you receive it? Will you receive him? You think about it. Let's talk about it.